Okay. All right. Hello. Uh, hello there. Hey, so uh, we're speaking with Harsh, who's a Hindu nationalist, right? Yeah, and yeah. and and you're a you're a you're a patron. So we talk to our patrons like this. So you're for anybody that is a five dollar and above patron, they get to request to come on camera and talk to me like this. So that's what we're doing. And you wanted to talk to me about uh, what? Uh, so I just uh, wanted to share my views about uh, something like uh, maybe it would be useful for you to uh, hear some new ideas regarding this. And I just wanted to put it on the table on recording so that people can hear it or look at it. Okay. So for people that don't know what you're talking about, hold on, let me turn off the other one. Um, regarding this, you're talking about the, um, the Sexy Cali post that I posted. Oh, at that uh, yeah, that, that too. But that's also just a part of it. I want to talk about a lot more. Okay, what do you want to talk about then? Yes, so I wanted to talk about that, obviously, but uh, also about uh, how I want to just share my ideas and maybe exchange about uh, each other's understanding of what Hinduism is and what oh. other Abrahamic religions are. And maybe okay. if, if uh, we can agree to disagree, but just we can. I just wanted to talk about that. And yes. uh, the second thing, uh, I just wanted to sh share views like why I am pro Hindutva. Okay. Uh, yeah, and I thought maybe there was uh, these ideas have not been put forward enough, and maybe like it would be a fresh change. And mm -hmm. uh, I just wanted to also uh, share my uh, story about this. Like uh, the, the the interesting thing is, uh, from uh, if I were to just uh, I just make a few notes. Uh, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share a bit of my story that actually from age till thirteen till. Uh, around 18 and a half. By the way, I'm just 20 now, but 18 and a half. I was kind of like considered myself atheist. And the turning mm -hmm. point for me was a movie, Oh My God. And mm -hmm. I just wanted to recommend, if you could note that, I, I really want, I, I, I recommend, it's not like an obligation whatsoever, but I would like really suggest you to see that movie as well. It's an entertaining. I don't think you would get both, but mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's just a suge suggestion. Oh and God. after that, I just okay. got convinced and used to consider myself as, as an atheist and outside okay. Hinduism, kind of like an ex-Hindu, I would say. You're an, you're an ex-Hindu or ex-atheist? No, uh, no, no. I'm, I'm still an atheist. I, I'm okay. still an atheist. Uh, but at that time, during that time period, from age 12 to 18 and a half, I used to regard myself as an ex-Hindu or more correct term would be ex sanatan oh. But now you're and, an atheist and Hindu at the same time. Yeah, uh, I, I just, uh, I'm sorry, I just uh, wanted to kind of like refer to myself with more technically right term, like Sanatani, that would mm -hmm. be more more technically right. It's, it's the same, it's the same, but just mm -hmm. more technically right. It's just Sanatani. making habit. Okay. Yeah, okay. Sanatani. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so just to, to show that, uh, so I'll just read my notes. Uh, back then I used to understand it as Hinduism and quite a Brahmish version of it as well. And the points I think uh, substantiate my claim that why it is kind of a Brahma's version because at, at that time I used to think I would go to hell if I do sin and a kind of like analogy of sin would be pop maybe it's like something you would like to refer to next time maybe you hear it mm -hmm. it's some kind of similar thing and kind of you you're sent down to hell and you there you know the same routine burn forever and ever and ever second uh um, I think, yeah, uh, I, I think I already told that then I used to consider myself as ex-Hindu. And now, like, just two years later, and I, from here, two years before this, I addressed and acknowledged myself as Sanatani. Mm -hmm. And why it happened, like, what were the gradual steps? Uh, this, is, uh, this is how I, I, I remember as one or two years thing. First, A, hate towards Islam. B, realization of openness and comprehensiveness of dharma c increase in national pride and d uh, kind of like an irritation uh, uh, for the lack of criticism of islam and by the way during that time period i was usually only going after hinduism i, I was not even aware about islam even though i was living in india and i'm from gujarat but uh, sir what was the I, fourth one uh, fourth one uh, concealing record of Islam, and it, it is multiple points within, within itself. Okay. Concealing record of Islam within India and within the history of it. 
uh, Ayodhya Ram Janmabhumi Temple verdict. And third one, uh, lack of criticism of Islam in India. A lot of them has to do with Islam, it seems. Yeah, yeah. I think the, um, the first one and the second one is. Uh, sorry, the okay. last one. Yeah, yeah. Four points. Um, so what does your anti-Islam view, why does that have to be lead to pro, a pro-Hinduism view? Like, why, So you consider yourself ex-Hindu, but, but anyway, the echo is still there, but it's fine, I guess. But, oh, I, but, I think yeah, because but, yeah, you, I, I'm actually, actually uh, maybe YouTube is also on at the same time. Oh uh, yeah, turn it I, off. How do I do that? Uh, oh no, YouTube, like we're not on live. You're so, not in, still, still no, there is no. We're, I'm just recording. Yeah, we're not live. Um, yeah, I think if you have like a speaker phone, like a headset, maybe that would help. But why could okay? But if you have a problem with Islam, oh yeah, do you have a headset? It's just trying, trying to just sorry. Maybe yeah, okay. I just don't get like why can't you just be against Islam without being Hindu? Yeah. Uh, just one moment. Uh... Testing, testing. Um, yeah. Still, there's um the, the option okay. for Bluetooth is not coming. I right, forget it. Do you have like a non-Bluetooth headphone? Uh, All right. Testing. Just, just, testing. Just one, one. It's fixed. All right. Well, I don't know what just happened. So I kept hearing Islam over and over again. I think I hope now there is no testing. Yeah, there is no. Yes, you fixed it. Good job. Yes, it fixed. Okay, um, good, great. Yeah. Yes. You know, it's very interesting because I'm very familiar with your line of reasoning because I've seen it a lot in a lot of ex, a lot of atheists in Western Europe and North America. That are giving Christianity another shot. <laughs> uh, they're like the Jordan. This is the Jordan Peterson people. That the people that are looking into Jordan atheists that are interested in Jordan Peterson because they think like, oh, the fabric of society is falling apart, and maybe we should. Be, maybe we threw it out away Christianity too fast. Maybe we need something to fight. And a lot of people think that maybe Christianity is the tool in Europe to defend them against this upcoming. Um, on you know, disease of Islam, and that you know you can't do it without Christianity. Is it similar to that? Um, you know, atheists that are like not, maybe not even believing in Christianity, but are considering promoting Judeo-Christian values in defense of Islam. Is it similar to that? Like you're an ex-atheist that is now you know, well, you're still an atheist, but you're you're um that now you think like hinduism we need hinduism in india because islam is such a major threat that you need to stand guard against it and you can't do that without hinduism is that what you're saying yeah and uh my vision with uh, sanatan dharma is this uh i ultimately want to uh just introduce the entire comprehensiveness of the sanatan dharma and i feel mm -hmm. like it's quite similar to evolution like in it, it's in its sense that it is not rigid and if i now, I think that's why against uh, two, 295A and 153A, I'm strictly against that. I, if I if that gets removed, I would be able to do that much easily. That's that's the blasphemy law in India. What do you mean? Can you explain? Uh, that, that's, that, the, that, there so is a blasphemy law in India. I keep right? I keep being told like some people are saying there's no blasphemy law in India, and then people say there's blasphemy law in India. Um, okay, so there's... Yeah, so, uh, you're saying there's blasphemy law in India, and if that gets removed, what what are you gonna be able to do? I would be able to openly discuss about these things without even wondering wh whether I would be imprisoned or not. Uh, oh, because wait, but you're pro Hindu. Why can't? You, why would you be? Why would? Why would the blasphemy law be held against you? Oh uh, no, because as I said, um, I have not changed completely. I'm the same guy as I used to be eight years ago. I still go after Sanatan Dharma. I still go after Hinduism, but Sanatan mm -hmm. Dharma I used to prefer because it's technology correct. And uh, I, as I said here, I didn't had any problem with blasphemy and mockery of beliefs of Sanatan Dharma. I, I don't have a mm. problem with. Mm. Do you have a problem with the picture that I posted that everybody seems to be uh, admin for it, like the 
the sexy Kelly one. I have problem that one? just with uh, uh, it, there's like two level now. Shall I shall I go on that uh, if, since it has come organically? Shall I go on yes. that? Yes, yes, go on. Yeah. Uh, so yes, my problem you, was you're in charge. By the way, you're in charge of where the, where the direction of this conversation goes, right? So if I take it into a direction that you don't like, you you be you decide where we go. Okay, but go on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah. my problem was uh, actually not with the uh, image. Mm -hmm. But initially it was, but I, I, I'll, 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 ex I'll explain that as well. So let me let okay. me go with my own criticism first. I have made notes about my own criticism. I just read from that. So I got initial response of opposing you. And after I slept on it, like I, I went to sleep. And the next day, when my emotional charge went away, and I okay. saw a few videos of you explaining it to, to to multiple people in your po your own podcast and then uh, going on other other podcasts as well. I mm -hmm. said, hmm, I I largely don't mind what you're doing. Oh. So oh 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 oh. By the way, in in that moment, I I, I did report you, and like <laughs> few statements that were against you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, well, I appreciate the open mindedness. I really do appreciate the like uh, you know. No, not that many people change their opinions like that. Like I, I'm, I, I, I hope I get. I am as open minded as you are when it comes to people pointing out um, what I'm wrong about something. So that's that's nice. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> so, so okay, but but, yeah. but uh, just 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 to be uh, fair, because now I, if if I had not make note of it, I would have also gone on sidetrack. So thank goodness I I, I pat my back on the past self of my past self. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. But. I ain't a saint. I, I'm not. I'm not a saint or something. So mm. when I feel like going back and removing it, I, I, I would like. I, I, I don't know if it had any problem because I reported you and it, it, it did not have any effect on you. So if I mm. de-report, it's not going to do anything. But if I can, I, I, I don't mind de-reporting you as well. But I don't know if it is ha going to have any utility. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, we're making uh, our. We're, so yeah, go on. We're making our own uh, design now. Our own Kelly, like we're making our own atheist republic, is going to have its own elegant. It's going to be, oh, th <laughs> it's going to be sexy, but it's going to be elegant. It's not going to be derog. You know how a lot of anti-Islam people they make like cartoons against Muhammad, and it just looks gross. Ours is going to be like it's, it's, it's going to be pleasing. It's going to be like a celebration of her sexiness, okay? And then it's going to be empowering as well. Like it's not just going to be sexy. It's going to be sexy, but she's going to be fierce and powerful at the same time. So that's going to, we're, yeah. Uh, and and by the way, by the way, just just in the case of complete uh, honesty and full disclosure, hmm. you can even go derogatory. There's no obligation for you to not go derogatory. I do I necessarily want that? No. Yeah. But th th let's let's be consistent. I'm telling to myself as well. Right. If you go. Yes, I completely agree. I just don't want to, but I completely agree. No, no, that's, yeah, that's, 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 yeah, again, it's yeah. your own volition. It's yes. your own prerogative, your own choice. Yes. yes. Wow. So, very, so far, very consistent. Now, Go, okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, by, by the way, by the way, uh, I, my, my image is kind of like stuck. It's not stuck for me. It's not stuck, for, but for me, it's stuck. But anyway, you, you, it's, it's just clear, I, right? Okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah. I think it's being recorded properly, so that's good. Okay, that, that's fine then. Okay, so now to get into, uh, maybe this will help you to get into the psyche, and I think you already know this, uh, mm -hmm. as you're, I just watched a bit of your talk with uh, Harris Sultan as well, mm -hmm. and then I talk, uh, 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 sorry, I, I, I watched his talk with Kushal Mera in his post podcast as well, so I, I maybe I'm, I did not see the whole thing because it's like really big, but uh, I think uh, maybe I, you already know this, but I just wanted to tell it again. So, I was against just the facial expression, I believe. I still, uh, in a sense, if I were to uh, straw man you, I, I wouldn't have liked it as well. But you know what? Here is my hypocrisy. The same guy who found it offensive after just taking rest and, let's say, sitting with that idea for some time, now I'm fine with it. And most strange thing is, if I had encountered it myself before you introduced this on Twitter, not, not, not you introduced me to Twitter, like, look, hers, it's on your face. But like, I went into Twitter and I saw, oh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, was this is what it is. If I had gone just by myself on that same website before you introduced me or anyone introduced it, it, it to me, I will be fine with it on my first impression itself. <laughs> 
not only second or third or whatever. I would be fine with the first impression itself. That's the hypocrisy. Huh. Why? Why? Would, what's the difference between? Why? That, that's a good question. That's a good question. And and as I understand it, at least one aspect of my aggress aggressive response was that it was you. <laughs> You did it uh, 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 again. I just read. I was just reading. Uh, I came in and showed that aspect about Hinduism. To be more exact, you you didn't actually do that. But like, no, later later on, uh, now after hearing you, I know that. But it is the perverse expectation slash impression of your intention in my mind that led me to think that you are perhaps only posting this tweet to provoke an unjustified or on unjustified and unacademic grounds that's that's i think i i am nailing it to the point to the exact reason why i had a problem with that if i do a hmm. little bit hmm. so um well the answer to that what do you what do you think the answer to that is actually whether or not i did that for that reason or not my anti islam uh, but again that's not going to be ap applicable for you because you are also against islam i I, I think maybe I have explained as well. Do you think it's because I have a because I'm an I people associated with me with being a Muslim that made people have a such a harsh reaction towards me? Like because they keep talking about Muslim blood, Muslim blood, no? Oh, I, I know that. I know that. I have I've noticed it as well. I noticed yeah. it as well. Uh, and they me? keep saying once a Muslim, always a Muslim. They keep saying that. <laughs> that's that's just uh, it's it's intellectual laziness with frustration. I don't know what kind of cocktail is that, uh, but those few ingredients are in there. I, I, don't I, was, think just to, <laughs> I was just about to show the, our, the my tweet on the screen, but I didn't. I, I, I didn't want to do it. I do have the your permission. Is that okay if I show it? Oh yeah, yeah. I just didn't know if that you're going to be okay with that or not. Okay, so this is the tweet for people that haven't seen. Try. So I mean, come, come on, this is so beautiful. It's beautiful, okay? But here's the thing. So you're saying you think my intention was to what? You originally thought my intention was to what? Uh, I'll just read it again. But it is my uh, perverse, perverse expectation slash impression of your intention in my mind. So yeah. sh shall I repeat again? No, no, but what's that intention that you thought that I had? That oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'll, I'll compare it. That uh, and uh, until recently, I think I, that's what I, I have written this note a few days ago. Part of it is still true. I used to still believe that. So, like depiction of Kalima with that expression, it led me to think that perhaps you are saying that Kalima is always horny and wants a divorce. Do you know what to do that to her? You know, your that, idea that, is getting okay. Um, okay, okay. So you're saying that it, it, I was suggesting that she's always just like sexual and nothing else. You, you said yeah. that I, that's what I was suggesting. Oh, okay. Oh yeah. Definitely I, I thought I thought that at the moment, and that was that triggered that part. Even though I'm an atheist, <laughs> but that was triggered. That's what triggered it. I don't know what happened to your audio. Is is you are you covering your mic any in any way? I don't know, but it's okay. Uh, uh, it's yeah. better now. It's better. Oh yeah, don't cover the mic or but. Yeah, it's very strange to me that that's what people think because that means that, for example, if you see like a Bollywood actor, like with a six pack ab and like ch ch really like big chest, hard, big arms, and you're like, my God, that guy looks, look at that guy, he looks good. So by acknowledging that, are you suggesting that there's nothing else about them other than the fact that they look good? You know what I mean? That's is that the suggestion? Like I don't understand how one follows the other one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so I, th 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 there is a criticism for them to actually assume that before actually responding that. So they should right. had be had a filter in their mind before actually jumping on their assumptions. Actually had right. if they had clarified it before. And if you had, and then now this, here's my criticism for you as well. If you had also, uh, but uh, again, you didn't knew that I'm under that assumption. You did not expect them to be expecting that of you. I, I don't know. I feel it feels like it's in an Inception movie or something. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but you get my point, right? Right, I get it. So, what, 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 what do you think I should have done? 
uh, if you had just expected that I, I know that this is not exactly what how devotees you you devotees who 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 hold her really close to your heart i don't think that you think of her th like that way it is just i saw an image of kali on um or kalima on uh, a website that i just found that particular depiction of it sexy and i'm not right. saying you think her like that but it's just that i found that and uh, that that depiction sexy if that okay. clarification i believe i, I, I don't, I don't I think, think all hindu people are like again really good yeah, yeah. there are bad people and they would still have come after you but i believe then mm. the margin perhaps might have been a little less if not more but okay but maybe let me let me clarify something that maybe will make you go harder against me maybe after if i say this you would think like oh okay then you are you are at fault here as well i kind of oh, okay. also wanted to show the fact that how sensitive these people are right so what i did want to show like i did want to i didn't know it's going to be this bad right but this came right after i desecrated the quran right and i got a huge following of hindutva people um so i was like first of all i wanted to do something very mild and something that was not derogatory in any way to, to because I kind of also knew that there was going to be a backlash, right? But I also wanted to display, first of all, I, I was doing multiple things at the same time. I wanted to celebrate Hindu goddesses, right? I also wanted to show that without any being derogatory, you got, a lot of the people will lose their mind, right? And I also wanted for the people that will, the Hindutva people and the Hindu people, not you know, that are following me that would not lose their mind to know that if they want to support me, that's fine. Just letting you know that if I blaspheme, I blaspheme against all, right? So part, that was also part of my intention, right? So different, different. I had different, multiple motivations for doing this at the same time. What do you yeah, think? Uh, the the de desensitization part, I completely yes. understand and agree with. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, but but uh, based if you if you see that, then when your criticism of me is that you should have clarified a little bit more. But if I did that clarification, then the point that I was trying to make would have not, you know, I wouldn't be able to display all of this that I'm, that I'm displaying right now. You know, so the backlash is part of the point. Uh, um, okay. Um, I, I don't particularly, I can't say I get that, but okay. The, pa the backlash is for me the, to highlight. The backlash was what I expected. I wanted the I wanted to demonstrate the backlash. So you if you're saying that you should have done something to soften the backlash, I'm like, no, I wanted to I wanted the backlash so I could show the world like look, this is something that we need to desensitize. But then but then uh, actually then um wouldn't it mean that they would be going on wrong footing? But I mean, like I do agree, with certain peoples within them have gone really far beyond and in, mm -hmm. in a deplorable manner. I, I think I, many people have already acknowledged that. So I, I, right. I, I don't think I need to, but I, I would anyways. That that would not be fair. But uh, here's again uh, two two things I want to I want to first address what you said. Uh, going to necessarily a far degree uh, to this is not far degree. At, Sorry? This this should not be considered going too far. Whenever whenever I do something that I know it's going to get the backlash, I'm not doing it because I think it, sh it deserves a backlash. I'm doing it because I know there's going to be a backlash, but it do it doesn't deserve a backlash. That the the backlash is unjustified, right? For example, I don't know if you know, I had this. I went to the Vancouver Pride Parade and I had a sign uh, saying Allah is gay, right? I knew that I was going to get a backlash, and it did such a back. It got such a big backlash that I had to get the police involved, right? And I had to move. I had to move. I had to change my address, right? Um, but people are like, if you knew it was going to get better backlash, then why did you did it? Because because I wanted to show to the, to everybody that these people see being gay as an insult. Like you could tell people about the homophobia in the Muslim community, and you could say it, and you could show them statistics and but you you could also demonstrate it, right? You could so when I do when I do something that, that provokes people, I'm not doing it just for the sake of provoking them. I'm doing it. I'm provoking people based on things that they shouldn't be provocative. I do provocative things in hope of a day that they're not provocative anymore, 
Like I'm not doing product provocative things that are justifiably prov like the provocation, the backlash is justified. I'm only doing the thing, the things that the backlash I think is unjustified, and it's a process of desensitize. I mean, how would that desensitization work if you're actually not doing something that people um, that people are sensitive about? Do you know what I mean? Like you're saying, oh, why? If you expected the backlash, what did? Why did you do it? Well, how else would you desensitize people if you do the it's things that they don't care? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I was just uh, against the part that uh, you find it surprising that you got the backlash. It well, I did. Okay, that's not a contradiction. I did expect the backlash, but I didn't expect this level of backlash. That's a good point. That's a good right. point. That, that's the part where they have gone really down low and uh, did something that you had never experienced before with other mm -hmm. Christians or particularly in case uh, Muslim apologetics or just nominal Muslims. They went after, in case of it desecrating Quran, they went after wives and that just doesn't, doesn't make sense because you didn't even went after Muhammad's wife because they are supposed to be considered as the mother for the whole ummah. But you just went after, let's say, as you said, gay, uh, allies gay parade and then desecrating Quran or uh, maybe you did something more but and then I'm not aware of that. But well, the two times when Muslims, the two times that I got the worst reactions, um, I, I mean, I did Quran burning, desecrating the Quran. Those gets less reaction when it, uh, than when you do something Islamic with something gay, right? So the two times that I got the biggest reactions from Muslim is when I had the Allah's gay sign, um, and also the one that one time we had the rainbow Kaaba. We took a Kaaba and we changed the black drapes with the rainbow and photoshopped it. That went, that got them so riled up. So that was the other time. Yeah, yeah, so. I understand that. So the part I think is like uh, the second point would be, so my criticism, this were my own criticisms, and then now criticism for you. Uh, so the first one was uh, false equivalency regarding mm -hmm. the outrage observed from different religious groups for differently blasphemous topics. And mm. this is how I understand it, and I have made a table out of it, and have uh, divided them into levels. Uh, before I go, that do you want to add anything in, uh, or say anything? No, I just want to say, you, but how? Like you're so good at this. Like you, you reevaluate your positions and you give criticism in such a helpful way, and you explain it very well, and and you stop and say, do you want to add something? Like man, like I admire your method. I, appreciate this level. This is, such, this is such good faith conversation. I, after all the crap that I had to deal with, this is so refreshing. So thank you for that. Cool. Go on. I'm glad. Yeah. Go on. Okay. So I have, uh, if you can see, maybe if it is... Uh, wow, that's a lot of... Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, okay. So uh, there's column of Christianity, Islam, and Hindus. And there's mm -hmm. these three levels, as I understand it. It does not need to be objectively true. Even uh, I know I'm going into it. I know this is subjective. And I'm trying to trying to make objective criticism out of it. Kind of like uh, when Cosmic Skeptics says that there's just, just something because it is subjective, we cannot make objective truths or objective claims about it. We, we can okay. still do that. I can, I, I, so I try to do that. So as far as my understanding goes, Level one of some um, one getting outraged about something in this case. Sorry about if there is a voice, just um, sorry about that. It's okay, it's okay. Uh, the level one is considered by books, so burning or desecrating or doing whatever with Bibles for Christianity, doing same thing with Quran for Islam, and doing same thing on the same platform would come on something that Hindus revered. Now here, if you notice, I did not put out something very specific, even though Gita would be a popular answer. But if I were to, let, let's say we had a time machine and we go three days back and somehow for odd reason, we had a conversation and you try this. I, I, I look at it as, as an experiment. I look at it as a uh, way to gain some statistical data, which is not quite accurate, I believe, but it has some qualitative aspects to it, if not quantitative. But it also has quantitative as well. Maybe it not be not be so, so robust, but I still believe it has some utility if we use it as statistical analysis. Uh, it would be fun. Also, do all three at the same time? Like this... Oh no, you you did two already. So I was like, next thing I, I, I thought Armin would be doing, you would be doing, was maybe go on a Twitter and ask, hey, I know 
that Hindus do not have one single uh, sacred text like other Abrahamic regions do. So mm -hmm. tell me, tell me which particular textbook is the most revered and holds sacred and, and like, you know, revered and sacred book for Hindus. And then you compile all the data from either you do it on Twitter poll, you do it on uh, uh, Patreon and you do it on YouTube. And then you compile them and find the one that has the most uh, likes or votes for in, in a cumulative, cumulative fashion for one particular book. You do that and you do, do exactly the same thing you did for Quran and Bible, exactly the same thing with that particular book, whichever it may be. And my speculation, it, it would be, well, it would be Gita. But then you can say, hey, I, I did my due work. I did my due work. And I, 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 this is what you told me. This is not what I did. This is what my followers told me that this is the most sacred book uh, uh, Hindus hold to them. Why am I doing all the blaspheming at all? Like, am I? Am I? I feel like a lab rat. <laughs> like, like, just that part. Just, just that just part. The rage, of, rage of all the community. Like, let's see how many people are gonna come and threaten Armin's family and threaten his life and rape us. Like, oh, Armin. Like, I accept. Uh, oh, you accepted the abuse from this. Like, go. Like. Maybe some people should share some of this heat with me. Like, I don't know. Like, I mean, I'm getting like, I'm getting it from the woke mob. I'm getting it from the Muslims. I'm getting it from the Hindu. I'm going to start get, also going after the far right. I don't know. But I mean, I mean, a, a man can do so much, but go on. Sorry. <laughs> what is that? Yeah. And that's, that's the part I wrote out like just later. Hmm. Making use out of Armin. And okay. that's for pro Hindutva. <laughs> For what? That's for pro Hindu tour. Okay. This will be fun. Okay, go ahead. Tell me. Yeah. So coming fun? back. And level two. Illustration provocative about actual beliefs and believed event with each faith that could be related to sex, but could not be related to sex. Perhaps something else, whatever. Illustration of it, the keyword being provocative, but something that they actually believe. And I feel this level is the one that hurts the most because. It, do, it does two things. On a surface level, it does provoke them, shock and awe. It does get your attention. But as I said, I was the rational person. Of, I, I don't want to hold myself to an, a high pedestal or something. But I was the rational person, and I cool down, and I find that acceptable. Others, okay. all of them are, no. But if you want to still hurt them, if you, if you still want to go and, you know what? Hey, 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 Effa, you are not done with me. Even though now you are not emotionally charged up or riled up, mm -hmm. my points are still valid because you do believe this. You do believe this. And even after that, they actually got hurt when you provoke them, you're still hurting them when they are not in an emotionally charged state. This one is not only has shock and awe, but it has, uh, it has what, what does it has? It has, it has um, persistence of being hurtful in a slow manner, but it, it, it is persistent one. So I think this one is the most effective one. Level two. Well, can you explain what 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 you would do? Like you take one of their um, texts from like one of their stories and turn it into a comic strip, something like that. Okay, okay. I, I can maybe... I can also give you something from. Uh, I also watch try to watch uh, Islamic apologists, uh, ap apologetics, who mm. find stuff uh, problematic within Hinduism, and they go for uh, so the, but, so that I can I don't think my that... claim. I don't think they consider that that sacred. He, okay, first of all, we did that with hadith, hadith Bukhari, right? So we and also we did that with the Bible as well. We made, so with the Bible, we made a comic strip out of uh, the story in the Bible where um, if you if your if your wife comes and defends you in a fight and grabs your nut, get, get, grabs the other person's nuts to defend them. Do you know that? That's in the Bible, right? So if two, if two men are fighting and the wife comes and grabs the other person's nuts just to defend her husband, then the punishment for that is that you have to cut off the the wife's hands, both of them, right? And you shouldn't show oh, her any know, sympathy. I didn't know about that. Yeah, that's in the Bible. And we turned that into a comic strip and we like one page comic strip and from the, from the Islam, we took a hadith uh, about Moses, who apparently people thought that there's something wrong with his body because when he goes and takes a bath with other men, he never goes naked. He was always like covering himself. He's always so. And there was this rumor about how may he maybe he has a disease. So to, for God to, to for God to prove that Moses has a, like a really nice and sexy body, a rock went and stole Moses's clothes, and Moses started chasing that rock 
and hitting that rock with a stick, trying to get his clothes back. And he was chasing that rock naked. And everybody looked and saw Moses's body, and they saw that oh my God, his flawless body. So God and the, he, Moses hit that rock so hard with the stick that up up until today, this rock still has markings of Moses. Um, hitting it on it, right? So that was like really bizarre, and we turned that into a comic strip as well. But those are the things that we did. Like, is that so? You think like we should take something from Hinduism and do that? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I think you can take that from Puranas, because Puranas are not something. If as far as I understand, they do not believe them to be literally true. Because if they do, then they contradict with their uh, other core beliefs as well. And now the contradiction is not something new for uh, Sanatan Dharma, but this one is like they genuinely already acknowledge that this is they consider to be not true, but these are like actually they consider them to be actually mythical uh, stories but maybe they do not I, I i need to read more about that but it is not the same as itihasa so there are three things history then there is itihasa and then there is puranas uh, maybe this is something new uh, i hope uh, but this is as, as, I, as i understand it but my experience is that every time you go after something within the sacred text of hinduism there's a whole bunch of hindus that are like oh this is not part of our core ideology it seems like it's so hinduism is so fluid and all over the place is that it reminds me of that matri matrix scene when you try to hit it and it keeps like dodging because like oh this is not Hinduism ah that's not Hinduism right so like this kind of this trick for, they they have this trick about being so all over the place that you can't even uh, attack them in any way what do you uh, think the, the the reality is uh, unfortunately uh, for me it's fortunate because I'm pro Sanatan Dharma it is not a trick but that that's the thing that's one thing uh, my part of your con or like criticism you still don't understand the difference between hinduism and islam we do and that's, 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 i just explained to that why why as uh, maybe kushal already explained to you i think uh, one year ago in his podcast with vidu and you and kushal were there and you were trying yeah. to understand hinduism as well but i believe he did a great job but he could have also done better like he did a good job but I, I thought that there are a few moments points that could have got clarification and I'm, I'm trying maybe i could cover those points the thing within uh, hinduism is that, that there are multiple schools of thought or darshan I, as he said every, it's very interesting because we get we kept being told that we don't know the difference and right. we and every time we get here the same explanation i'm like yeah i heard this like a million times um, I, know. I, I I know the difference, but like people are like oh, I mean it's not like Abrahamic religions, and like yeah, but you still have you're still a whole bunch of sensitive snowflakes that oh you yeah get the, sensitivity so, I I agree yes so yes. I don't it doesn't have to be the same on ev on everything for that aspect is the same and that's what we're going after so oh yeah oh. just just the sensitivity like primarily primarily just the sensitivity yeah we're normalizing blasphemy like here's the yeah, thing that, that's great yeah. When I, if I want to normalize blasphemy and you guys cannot even handle me calling your God as sensitive, take, I don't even need to know anything else about your religion. I mean, I do know, I mean, I took a course on Hinduism well, like a couple of years ago, um, but I don't need to know anything else. I just need to know that you guys cannot handle me calling your goddess sexy. That's literally the only thing I need to know to know that it's worth me normalizing this crap. Right. But but yeah. I don't need to, but I'm interested though. Just because I don't need to, that doesn't mean I'm not, I am interested in learning about Hinduism, but I'm saying it, yeah. it's not even necessary. Yeah, I, I understand. No, that, that's completely fine. It, there's no obligation. That's the part I wanted to uh, just uh, emphasize as well. But uh, if I were to explain that part, uh, I would just go to this section of uh, my claims about Sanatan Dharma. So this is the first claim. It is the only religion, for the lack of the better word, Dharma, but it is the only religion that if you go deep in comprehensive reading about it, my claim is your perspective about world and understanding about it will become uncertain. Uh, people like to say it would be really clear, like if you read Hinduism, you clearly understand world. I, yeah, yeah, yeah sure, but my emphasis is that you would be fundamentally be uncertain because there is no, it, it does not tell you you should go and believe only this. And mm. it, it, it at the end, if you try, because it's really the daunting task, but let's say if you, uh, uh, you are able to succeed, and that would be a major task, but you read all about it. You don't need to, even I don't, but this is as far as I, I got in understanding it. Do you, all okay, the here, here's the question. Do you think it's actually, do you honestly think that the best way to figure out how to live our lives today is to go and read 
what people said with much more much thousands of years ago with much less understanding of science of psychology of biology of how our brains work of how societies work like is that really a good source of reference for us to figure out how to live today i think no. for as a, I, I think it's a great source of entertainment and also a great source of learning about history and culture but as a guide to life, I think I can't believe that people back then could have given us anything more useful but, than all the scientific guide that we have today. Right? What do you think? Oh, yeah. In, in that case, I have just two things to say. A majority of uh, scientists, including me, get kind of riled up because that part, certainly in case of Hinduism, I can make, it was okay with completely being uh, saying that there is no God. And by the way, I just wanted to criticize one more aspect about you. I hear you okay. keep saying. Uh, if you go, uh, I see that uh, since Hinduism is just perhaps a little bit okay with um, atheist, uh, it would be mild. We won't, uh, you said, we won't uh, consider it okay not to go after you. It is like something like saying, like, if a leprechaun comes and say to me, no. <laughs> that, not a leprechaun, a leprechaun believer. A believer, but like, okay, believer says that a leprechaun, uh, equally superstitious belief. No, right? no, this is what I said. I said, like, if somebody who believes in leprechaun, came out to me like, hey, I believe in leprechauns, but don't worry, I'm tolerant of the people who do not believe in leprechauns, so you should accept my belief in leprechauns. I'm gonna be like, no, it's ridiculous that you believe in leprechauns. I don't, you know, even if you're tolerant of my lack of belief in leprechauns, right? So the, that's what Hindu people tell me, like, I mean, why are you criticizing Hinduism? We are, we are okay with atheists, like, well, thank you for being okay with atheists. You still believe in nonsense. Small <laughs> I mean, small <laughs> small right. yeah, yeah. So, the, what do you think? What's the criticism of that? Yeah, just one moment. If I just close that door because of uh, noise yeah. is coming, just go, go ahead. I'm going to show this comic strip while you do that. This is like yeah. on our Atheist Republic website. So, this is like the the kind of, we we hired an artist to design this verse from the Bible. Right, so two men are fighting, and the woman comes and doosh, grabs the nuts. This, I mean, she's supposed to be like grabbing the nuts of this guy, but it is, it's, it looks like something else. I'm not gonna say it because I don't know if YouTube allows that. Uh, but then you chop off her hand and you show her this is Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 25, verses 11 to 12. So, look, you like this style? Like, this is the kind of style I think we could make that Hindu to Hindu to Hinduism text. We could make like this kind of comic. Yeah, so, and that would uh, lead me to go to the part of Puranas. So in Puranas, okay. I have heard, I'm not sure, but I think it would be, uh, it seems to be true, and I'd like no reason for it not to be true, but you can confirm in your own time, maybe make a note or suggestion of it if you like. Uh, if you go and read about some Puranas, there is a particular story where uh, maybe Brahma was actually supposed to be the abstinent guy. He does not mm -hmm. have uh, mm -hmm. uh, like sex with anyone, but still has a consort Saraswati. But um, how does that work? I generally don't know. Is he supposed to be abstinent, but he at the same time has a consort? Doesn't make sense. But nevertheless, the story goes something like this: When he created the world, uh, the few first children of him, and one of them, uh, so in technically sense, uh, uh, her daughter, he found her to be really beautiful, and he kind of uh, went after her. And then Shiva needed to came and stop and teach him a lesson that, hey, look, what 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 are you doing? And that's that's not actually really nice and like not nice that like this is not like you or whatever uh, kind of criticism to just stop him and say that you know what this this particular tendency that you have is not acceptable or something and then he didn't do that or something like that so uh, if you read more from puranas this, this is where you get good sources to actually criticize and then normalize this stuff if you want okay so maybe as the people are watching can you leave a comment into Whatever sacred text in Hinduism that you think would be worthy of making turning into a comic strip. By the way, this stuff costs money, right? And I promise, I I told I told everybody that I'm gonna start designing more sexy Hindu goddesses once we reach 150 patrons. I can't believe it; we're almost there, right? So I'm already submitting my description for the first design there. So how about this? I will I will take your idea. I will do that once we hit. 160, not even that far. So once we had 160 patrons, I'm going to start doing comic strips um, of Hindu scripture or text. Yes. Is that? Do you really think that would be a good idea? 
because uh, I, I at a certain sense it feels like that it, it would not people would not bother because they can just easily and it is a legit claim that they can make is that we uh, before you do anything we also ourselves consider that this is not actually true that, that they can come and that they do, wouldn't but have if a it's not gonna if, if they're not if they're no if they're okay with it then we're not normalizing blasphemy that part of that blast that's already been normalized. Yeah, but I'm not sure because I have never seen that done being done. Mm. So, so we could do a test. We could do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I mean, it's, it's already something. like again. It's something is like, for example, I'm not gonna like once Muslims like so Muslims are now chilled out about, about drawing Muhammad, right? So I mean, once every year when we do a drawing Muhammad, they I'm gonna share some of the cartoons that are already there. But we already, I think we already solved that problem, right? The secretion of the Quran hasn't been normalized yet. So we're normalizing that a little bit. But once Muslims chill out, once, you know, once it becomes desensitized, like we're not going to just desecrate the Quran for the sake of desecrating the Quran. I think that's an issue that we've solved already once, once the Muslim community is completely chilled about it, right? So if we're fighting blasphemy and this is something that the Hindu community is already chill about, I don't see how far we're going into fighting a problem that doesn't even exist um, if there's not going to be a reaction to it. Does that make sense? Yeah, but you know, whenever I hear that, then that's like going after something. Uh, but now I understand why you do that. So that also makes sense. It's not, um, it's not that we want there to be a backlash. It's that we want there to be backlash to stop. Like we want there, like we, the goal is not like, oh, yay, backlash. The goal, the goal is to like start it in order to stop it. Yeah, to stop it, to normalize, to eventually desensitize. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. I, then, uh, I think I, I learned uh, learning new, new, uh, new stuff about you then. Yeah, that's great as well. I mean, I mean a lot of Muslims come and think that they, def they defeated, like if we do some blasphemous things, and some Muslims are like, Haha, we don't even care about this. You guys are wasting your time. We're like, no, we like this is what we wanted. Thank you for not caring. <laughs> right? This is exactly okay. what we wanted. The then, then you're actually more benign than more people think about you. <laughs> what? Yeah. You're more benign than as people actually think. Oh. You... Thank you. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Oh. Uh, and uh, the, th the third part is, uh, now is uh, going back to my criticism. Uh, third, third level would be completely just made up image of a religious figure requiring no justification whatsoever, either scripture or b based on whether they actually believe it or not. And uh, then, and, uh, and also the one that actually presses on their nose. So it is provocative in nature. So that kind of riles up them more, but then when they cool down, their anger goes away. But that, now this is the problem I thought you had, but you didn't, as you clarify, it's not that you want to provoke them. It's just, you want to desensitize them about, about them. So I think now it is no longer an issue, but okay. the false equivalency that I perceived before, now, not just a few minutes ago, few minutes ago, that's just what I wanted to clarify. I think, you, uh, but maybe this is not what not not what your goal is. But nevertheless, I think you missed an opportunity of getting a bias-free response data by not being equally blasphemous. So if you had gone stepwise, again, you had no no obligation to do this. But if you had gone stepwise, it would have been really good opportunity to to get how each and every religious community reacts. So I believe still Christianity would be number one because look at what Seth, Ma Ma Seth MacFarlane is doing with Family Guy in, in his uh, continuously depicting Jesus and uh, things like that. Like They would do with Muhammad, but they uh, like just like South Park, they also kind of stop. Maybe that also gets uh, requires desensitization, but that, that, that is up to you. So, oh, wait. Uh, yeah. Hold on, let me actually show you something. Go on, sorry, I just ought to play. Yeah. Go on. So, just a few questions and my opinion on that. So is it your right to do that? Yes. Uh, do you want to, do I want you not to do that? Again, no, it's up to you. And is there any obligation for you to do it in uh, in that particular manner as I asked? No. So I just wanted to be clear with that. But uh, look, here. look at this. Two yeah. weeks ago. Yeah. I eat the Quran and the Bible in solidarity with David Wood. I, I, yes, I know that. Yeah. So I didn't, but I didn't get any reaction from Christians. In fact, I yes. got comments in the, I got people in the comment section saying that, yeah, I'm Christian. I don't care. So I already, yeah, I, yeah. I already kind of did this already. No. So I, I was thinking maybe only if you had uh, gone in this step way, then it would be, have been fun. So the step way was like the next thing after desecrating or eat, eating Bible and Quran, if you had done with Gita 
exactly the same thing just after that now now it's a thing maybe not so much utility no, now but but, but, they, they don't care, but the hindus don't really hold the te- the physical text that sacred do you know what i mean like yeah. different groups of people consider different things blasphemous right like yeah. the christians also the christians like oh yeah i love the bible but if I like when I ripped some, I mean, I did that before. I did this all like I, this Bible is specifically for ripping, right? Right. This action, this is not considered blasphemy to Christians. I mean, the other things are. So I don't yeah, think yeah. Fair comp- I don't think just because of physical action of like they're all books and put doing them one book at a time. I just just because the action is similar, I don't think that's a fair comparison, right? I think what riles up Christians is completely different from riles up Muslims and what riles up Hindus. I don't. Do you honestly think like if I took a guitar and I took a page and I sped on it and I tore it apart and I threw it at the camera, do you think that Hindus actually care? I don't think they they hold like oh. the page. They won't, yeah. That's not an issue for them. Yeah, uh, so sorry about just uh, the voice. Uh, just one, one, one okay. moment. Okay. Anyway. Just, just one moment, sorry. No worries, no worries. Take your time. Let me actually see the screen share. Um, this is getting... Okay, guys, this is a good time to tell everybody to come to our YouTube channel, uh, like and subscribe. Hold on. Let me see. I actually have to set up the next live stream. I just did this video. If you didn't see it, go watch it. I mute you so that I'm not getting echo. I'm going to mute you. Once you're ready to talk, just unmute yourself, okay? Um, yeah, I'm going to actually have another live stream coming up. Every time I do a live stream, I have a live stream ready. It's going to be showing up here uh, at, the t- at the homepage. Wait, why is this so small? Here, let me refresh the page. Okay, so guys. Make, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification. Oh, you ready? I'm ready. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, so yes, where was where was I? So majority of uh, Hindus, part of their outrage is, I, 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 as far as I think, I believe, is that you think that we are still equally snowflakes. I think the part of that. Did I say equally. No, that, that's what they think. I believe, even though oh. you didn't say that. I think that they think that they think that desecrating Bible, that they think that you think that desecrating the Bible and desecrating the Quran is equally blasphemous as um, uh, a tweet that you posted. That's that's part of uh, uh, anger that they particularly have. But I they think. have proven that they're worse. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. Uh, in in the part when they go even beyond, like I, I have seen few things and like these are like really really bad. I. I I genuinely appreciate that you are not that angry. I mean, if I if I had been at your place, I would be much more angrier. But uh, that's that's just good for you. Yeah, yeah, that's good for you. Yeah. Um, I mean, to be fair, I've been getting crap. Like I've been getting crap from people for the past fifteen years. So maybe I'm getting numb to it. Oh yes, and but, 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 but also I maybe just, I, I yeah. it it does it still does get it. like it's still like it's not like I'm completely immune to it though. Like I, I, don't I understand be, you're human. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I think for some reason, for some reason, I don't know why I cannot explain it, but you have not touched upon the nerves of Indian Muslims. For some reason, I believe that. I I, I know I cannot prove that, but I, I'll tell you why I believe that as well. Hmm. Uh, but that, that that would I, I'll come that to later. I just wanted to prove. Uh, oh, sorry, made some other points. Um, is it justified in some sense? Uh, right, while you're looking for that, I'm going to tell anybody who's watching that um, the reason why you're here is because you're a patron to a Republic. So if you want to have your own conversation with me, a link to our Patreon account is in the description. Um, the the one dollar patrons they get access to exclusive videos that other people don't get access to. But if you want to actually come, like the people that to thank the people that are five dollar and above, you get to have conversations with me live on camera, uh, on camera here with me, and I'll post them. YouTube channel. Yeah. Did you find it? So now, uh, in terms of derogatory remarks, I think if you had somehow in managed to also tap on the nerves of Indian Muslims, then you would have found that they are no better than uh, Indian uh, Hindus. Well, majority of Indians are Hindus, so that that goes that way. But uh, I, the reason I, I believe. I go after Islam, so yes, yes, I, 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 yeah. And as I say, I mentioned that it is strange. 
But the reason why I believe that is here. Here's the, my substantiating claim. Yeah. Uh, this is my, my own personal experience. So as I said, uh, one of the reasons why I became, um, again, pro-Sanatani was Ayodhya Ram Janma Bhumi Temple verdict, right? Mm -hmm. And just in August 5, uh, there was a Supreme Court decision came that on August 5, Ram Janma Bhumi Pujan will still continue. And Supre High Court has rejected the plea for uh, delaying that uh, Pujan or that, that celebration or ceremony of opening that temple. Oh, OK. Uh, All right. It's OK? Yeah, go on. Oh, okay. Oh. Um, Guess uh, so there were multiple posts just after 5th of August. Okay. Uh, just after 5th of August. And it had just in terms of likes or responses around 140,000 after just two days of being it being posted. 140,000 uh, re responses for just that particular post in regarding with certain of the certain uh, or few of them were vitriolic species uh, uh, speeches and uh, videos uh, regarding to Babri Basjid demolition and building of Ram Janma Bhumi. And okay, can, uh, by the way, we only have like we, I'm going to keep this for under one hour. Is that okay? Oh, damn. Uh, can I get like just 20 more minutes on top of okay. one hour? 20 more okay. Th thank you very much. So uh, I, I I saw those virtual speeches and that that got me riled up. Uh, those speeches were like um, I'll just say that in Hindi and then I'll translate in uh, in English. They said that पहले पहले वहाँ पे राम मंदिर नहीं था but उसको तोड़ उसको मस्जिद को तोड़के अब राम मंदिर बना रहे इन्शाल्लाह जब हम ताकत में आएंगे तब हम मंदिर तोड़के अब बाबरी मस्जिद बनाएंगे so the translation I will the translation is they believe that there was a temple on which by destroying it मस्जिद वास बिल्ड but then now once we get into power like after fifty years this is what Indian Muslim was telling publicly to Indian journalists that once we get into power we will destroy Ram uh, uh, temple that will be built within, I think, one or two years, and Babri will, Masjid will still be there. And this is against the Supreme Court decision and things like that. So this kind of naturally got me riled up, and I equally so went in and posted something that could riled up them equally well, like Ayodhya bhi jaaki hai, Kashi Mathura baaki hai. This is something that we would type in, and that would rile, rile them up. And they went after my own, um, uh, uh, like, uh, the same way that uh, Hindu to a people went after you, they said that uh, I will f your mother or f your uh, sister, things things like that. Same, uh, even though mine was equally just provocative to what they initially posted, and mm -hmm. then they went after things like that. And uh, in terms of derogatory picture, they had uh, Modi having like sexually uh, involved in sexual position with Ram, or and the same thing with Durga, things like that. And I was like. Really, did, did, did I say something that was actually not true? Because Supreme Court agreed on it, and the historical facts are on the side of it, but yet you find it, just just not find it acceptable for me to mention it against you. Right, but what is this, what's the point, like, what is no, this? No, that's what I'm saying. If you actually hit on some nerves that right. they have really, really associated with themselves, and this is that but, nose that I have, I think, have particularly noticed yeah, for Indian Muslims. Yeah. Okay, Indian Muslims, but... I wasn't, if you're thinking about it, I'm comparing it with people as a whole. I'm just comparing my experiences, right? Exactly, um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, for example, and I'm also talking about just only online bullying behavior because if you if, if you want to compare other stuff, Muslim, Islam is still number one when it comes, for example, to terrorism, right? Yeah. And a global, like, it does, it's not even close, right? So, you know, like, yeah, of course. Like, right now, with all the okay, so when it comes to online harassment, I've never experienced anything like this before. This is, has been way. I, I mean, I've been like I've been going after Islam for the past fifteen years, very aggressively, and I have been pushing them some of the most sensitive buttons that uh, that is out there, right? But again, this is uh, I've never experienced anything like this. But does that mean that I think like the Hindu like the Hindu community is like more violent or more aggressive than Islam? No, because for example, the offline experience, the terrorist, oh, I should, the T experience, I can't say that on YouTube, is that they 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 are like the Muslim, the Islamic problem is the number one on a global scale by a huge margin. Like the second place is not even close 
to the Islamic problem. So obviously, I acknowledge that. I mean, every single data shows that. So again, there are different ways to look at. There are different compared. Just because you're saying, "Oh, oh, yeah, congratulations, you're number one at this," that doesn't deny the other thing. You know? But I, again, why is this? Uh, I think I think there's also this. I, I also co keep comparing um, the Hindu response to the Muslim response to the Muslim response, also because they're so sensitive about this. And that's another because they seem to be their thing is always like, well, yeah, we're bad, but we're not as bad as Muslims, right? So because they constantly saying that, I'm like, okay, maybe at one at this one thing, you seem to be as worse than Muslims because. That has been their defense for so long. Like they say, like they used to be like, yeah, Armin, um, you you know, you don't believe in Hinduism, but at least you can say whatever you want about Hinduism and nothing will happen. And now that I can show them that something will happen, they say, well, at least we won't behead you, at least we don't burn down cities. So I don't like where they're saying it's 10 years from now, are they gonna start beheading people and burn down cities? And they're gonna say, Well, at least we don't hijack planes. Um, like how where is it? I don't know. Go on. I understand, bro. And that, that's that's what my message is to all the Sanatanis or like Hindus. Become so better yourself. Just just be so much self introspective and uh, be criticizing of your own self and become better. Evolve because Sanatan Dharma can evolve. Use that aspect to become so so impenetrable that no one can criticize because you find that this is. Uh, and now I'm talking to Sanatanis, by the way. Uh, you find that this is a valid criticism of you. Do not live in a state of denial accept that and you can you have that opportunity for you yeah. you have that opportunity for you that you can say that we accept that this is part of it and we are not obligated to uh, live by it because we can reject it by the very same core principles of sanatan dharma and you can even become better we, because we we I, I hear we are so evolving we are sanatan dharma is so evolving in in nature then we need to show that to people we, if we don't show that why do, we, why do we live by principles of ancient texts? Why can't you just enjoy it without the principles? I don't understand. Yeah, that, that's the thing. I don't think I, I don't take them literally true. Even I don't personally go to temple again and again, but I like to go to temple and see it like a cultural heritage of India. Yeah, and what, so, but, but here's the thing: I get to enjoy more culture than than religious people because all I get to enjoy all culture because. I don't see like, oh, I have to enjoy my heritage, it's beautiful. I think like I have more opportunity to enjoy Hindu culture, Thai culture, um, I don't know, um, British culture, every culture. Like why is this this allegiance to uh, ancestry and the, and the place that you're born with? Like I don't understand this obsession. Like why not expand your – like there – all the things that you're finding so beautiful about the Hindu mythology, imagine they, they exist in everywhere else as well. Imagine how much more fun you could have if you just expand your horizon instead of constantly being obsessed with one set of idea, one set of culture, just because you've been born in a certain place or just because your ancestors had that religion. But go on, sir. Yeah, uh, the reason is that because it is not properly acknowledged within India. I mean, this may sound as a conspiracy theory, but this is what I have observed in my uh, past one or two years. And this is, I believe, that kind of makes sense. Uh, the initial uh, uh, regime or whatever, not regime, but political parties that came up, they just systematically denied any Hindu heritage. You know, like instead if I had been stoked up upon Hinduism that they would have been fed up of it and like, okay, okay, I got everything that uh, Sanatan Dharma has to offer to me. Now let me go even beyond that. But what we actually find is that they are stoked up upon the everything else or everything outside. And then they say, oh, I know everything in our Western. Now let's, let's, let's as the last resort or, or the last thing on the list, they come to Sanatan Dharma. If if they had it had been not like this, then I would be not too much choked upon it. Because I also yeah. love reading about uh, reading about Egyptian mythology. I I, I read about Percy Jackson first uh, rather than Amish uh, Tripathi's uh, Mehula tri uh, trilogy, and that's what I'm opposed to. First, we need to be so much stoked because stoked up that part is not there. Once it is stoked up, I would be like, okay, I'm fed up of this. I'm I'm fed up of li listening again and again by of, of Mahabharata and Raman. Let's go out of it but that's not what's happening and that's why there's problem mm. uh, it, it sound as conspiracy theory but if if i urge you to talk more with kushal uh, mera and sham Shama, if you have time there's no obligation again and also it's actually, actually to go against what i said it's also fair to have favorites right like if oh, yeah, I, yeah. 
Yeah, so for example, I'm just saying if you pick a favorite, pick a favorite based on your taste rather than heritage and homeland. Like I for, I think like I could be like I mean I have no heritage or so background in North mythology, North mythology, but that could end up being my favorite, right? It could be Hinduism. Hinduism could end up being my favorite mythology, even though I wasn't born in India and I have no Indian heritage, right? I'm just saying like. You could have a favorite and you could be obsessed with it as well, but you, it doesn't have to be where you're born. But yeah. Yeah, and I, I think I, there's only 15 minutes left. I'll just I'll read through it quickly. So uh, I will again talk with you next month, if, if okay. possible. Yeah, yeah. no, so, I, would love, I would love that. I love, yeah. I love that to you. It's fine. Yeah, okay. yeah, thank you. Thank you. So uh, this is part I want to uh, tell about Hindu Tvagar so that they could be uh, become more immune to it and become better and move on and focus on a a a wrong things within Sanatana Dharma. Because let's say uh, every t every time people talk about Abrahamic Hindus, yes, there's a problem for it. I believe I imagine like the a thousand years of invasion of from uh, one a particular region from Abrahamic uh, pantheon like islam it kind of introduced some abrahamicness into it like uh, i believe uh, 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 imagine sanatan dharma as freely flowing you can be you can be whatever you want and still call yourself sanatan like literally you don't need to even show yourself uh, uh, or act like it but you can uh, people won't be problem with it but then why do we find problems with it because i believe that some part of it some some patches have gone and become rigid and and there the de abrahamization part i i, I tell my, to myself who better to use as a de abrahamization who is a person who has very fundamentally or but not uh, but he's very closely understood the abrahamic part and if he is going against abrahamic regions and if he attacks sanatan dharma then perhaps the abrahamist part of it as people live it it would be eradicated and as a sanatani i would like to do that and i think most effective person would be person like armin or other people people like that so you can actually use him for your own benefit at least for that particular aspect and other thing let's say there was no abrahamic region in a, in a, in a, another another parallel universe wait Sigma? so you're, you're saying that you could use like people like me to de abrahamize hinduism yeah oh okay <laughs> so really good at going uh, at that so use him for that it hurts well develop a tough skin and try to find out uh, use even out of your perceived enemies that's what I'm, uh, i say to them this would be so smart of you. You can say, oh, I mean, you thought you made a use out of us. Uh, hey, hey, wait a minute. We also made you as a use out of you. And that would be completely fair for them. That's, I feel that's fair game. Man, you're playing some 3D level chess here. <laughs> that's, 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 you're like a digital age. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's very interesting. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, continue. This is yeah. fun. And, and um, uh, one thing I want to say. This is my kind of sound at criticism. But you think you, think you are derogatory? You think you, you think you are derogatory? I, I'll show you something that's really derogatory. So this is a particular story, and this is of like how it is related to Kali. So Kali is an angry version, very very simplistic one. I think my time is running out. Very simplistic version of uh, uh, this explanation. Kali is the angry version of Parvati, and Parvati, if you were to use as an exit word, is consort or kind of like wife of Shiva, and Shiva is like the Three Trinity, you know about the Three Trinity in Hinduism, like Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh. Uh, Mahesh means mean, mean Shiva. Like okay. you, you know about that, right? No, I, I took I took a course in Hinduism like five or six years ago. I don't remember oh. much of it. I have to retake. No, no it. worries. That's why that's why I really urge Kushal Mera would be a go-to guy. I want to be as good as he is, but I am not. But I will read more stuff about that too as well. He's kind of uh, I admire and envy him at the same time. If I go back to learn, if I'm going to go spend more time in Hinduism, okay, I'm more interested in the mythology, like the stuff that you're saying, rather than the way of life, like, oh, like principles and all that crap, right? Yeah. yeah, people, when they say that this is just a way of life, okay, true, but there's so much more to that. So be accurate. I, to, to them, I say, let's be more specific. Let's be more academically, more have more rigor to it. But okay, com coming back to my point. Look, okay, okay. Uh, so Shiva, right? People who worship Shiva are I'll, like, I'll call Shaiviks or they're Vaishnav, so a term like that would be Shaivics or Shaivism, Shaivism, something like that. Okay, so these are people who like to like to worship Shiv more than anyone else, and mm -hmm. within them, there are particularly that are like really, really devoted, like would be called Aghoris. These are like Babas. It would be really fascinating for you to uh, know about them too. It is really interesting as well. Now okay. there is a particular story when a long time ago. 
I need some structure into learning about it rather than just random. I right now I have people teach, trying to teach me, and it's just random bits coming from me all direction. There needs to be like some structure. I know. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I, I can do that for you. I could do that for you because it will also help me understand that as well. Okay. 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 So uh, going with my story. There's a story. I believe it's true. And uh, the reason I, I don't have a particular reference at the moment, but it does not sound inconceivable. And that's why I think it could be also actually true as well. So here's the story I heard. There was one particular Aghori who was uh, one morning uh, at the bank of a river. Uh, it was his time for him to worship a shivling. Shivling is uh, the symbolic version of God Shiva. That's one they uh, do offerings to uh, and the adulations and stuff like that, like uh, flowers and stuff like that. And sometimes even milk. Uh, and then, okay, okay. So at that time, the Aghori, he is the, the, the most hardcore lover of Shiva. Yeah, like they are really, really love Shiva. He did not have offerings with him. So, and it was morning time. And this is how I remember the story. Either he got feces of some other animals that was around or, 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 his, or his own feces. And he used that as an offering for Lord Shiva. What the... His own feces. And people, people I, I, bet, I bet my bottom dollar that they won't find it uh, offensive. Even though that is in, on top of it, on surface of it, it is derogatory. And the story goes like this, if I believe. It, it, was, it was that intent. It was the intent that mattered the most. It was the intent of him being truly in love with Shiva, so much so that he did not distinguish between flower or feces. It was his intent of this divine worship or devotionalism to Shiva that it didn't matter to him. And, and, and a king, a passing by king, noticed that in, and he asked him, like, why are you doing this? You are actually a great bhakt of Shiva. This is something that would, I would perceive as derogatory. But this is what the explanation that he gave. Like, the intent matters the most, not my offerings. And that's mm -hmm. the thing. You are... I, 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 tell, I tell all the Sanatanis again and again, you have a religion that is just impenetrable by anyone. It is like Hulk, Hydra, or Ravan. I don't know which 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 analogy to give the, we give to them. It is like okay, Hydra. Change, adapt, evolve. That's what your religion is, and you figured that out a long time ago. You are okay, and that's the thing. Descent, it is not tolerated. Descent is not tolerated. This is accepted and celebrated it within uh, Hinduism. It is so diverse and people don't focus on that. And that's, that's, that's one thing I can, I think I can make use out of you is that I'll just read my, I'll just read my text. So using you and others like you as my blind spot check, because I am so pro Sanatani, maybe I will miss something that is actually bad within Hinduism. And you will spot that first. And once you spot it, I will acknowledge it. And I'll say, get rid of this. Get yeah. Well, I, I noticed something bad right already because okay, I like to I like the message of fo focusing on the intentions, even though the intentions is not the only thing. Like other things, sometimes you get bad results with good intentions. Re intentions matter, but I don't think the a message that the intention that the, is the only thing that matters. I don't think that's a good message. And I also no, no, don't I like. Understand. And I also don't like the part of these message that in Hinduism that makes it seem like blind devotion to somebody is a good thing. Like this absolute devotion, I think that's actually a bad message. And it seems yeah, like in Hinduism, uh, in Hinduism, it's celebrated as something as something great. Like the higher devotion that we have to some of these figures, the more like, oh my God, look, this is this is something to look up to. But I think like no, this is it should be the exact opposite. You shouldn't have blind uh, yes, devotion. And that, guess what? People like you already existed in before, and even they are celebrated as well. People who dissented, like Buddha, Buddha is very much part of Sanatana Dharma. He disagreed with majority of them, and still he every person who actually believes in God act at the same time right, likes to keep an idol of someone who said that there is no God. And like, mm. you, do you see how comfortable you are think uh, with this uh, disagreements? But you don't realize that. But you can say that about Muslims. Okay, so for example, you can say that about Muslims, okay? Muslims, like, they're very anti-blasphemy, anti-descent, leave Islam, you get beheaded, um, don't desecrate the Quran, don't make fun of Muhammad. Um, blasphemy is not tolerated, right, according to Islamic teachings. But yeah. at the same time, what did Muhammad do? He blasphemed, I think, I guess. He blasphemed against he the religious... Other gods, other gods he yeah. He blasphemed against the other god, and he went and destroyed their idols. Yeah. So you could be like, you could technically say, like, well, I'm following the way of Muhammad. Like, you yeah, could make that like, argument. 
Yeah, it's like saying that God is an atheist. So why 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 not me? God is also an atheist. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, no, yeah, but I'm just like saying. That. I'd rather my suggestion to people is, do not look at this text to figure out what what's the right thing to do. Agree, right. Agree. That is like if you're like, oh look, Buddha did this, so it's okay. Oh, Muhammad did this. No. That is not the way. That is not the way. You don't need to look at ancient texts to figure out how to live. You could look at ancient texts to look how, learn how other people live. You could le- learn at ancient texts to enjoy ancient texts. You could le- look at ancient texts to learn about history. You could le- look at ancient texts to le- learn about the evolution of society and how societies work and what they think and how they evolve. You could do all of those things. You don't need to look at ancient texts to figure out what do I do today and how do I live. That's the most dumbest way to use ancient texts. Do not do that. Yes, solely depending on them, that's stupid. I agree with you. Just solely depending on that, nothing else. I'm like, no, really, you, there's so much more to offer. Not, not just solely depending on them. Depending on them for how to live at all is, doesn't make any sense. Oh, yeah, that too. I mean, you, you should be free to choose whatever you like. You should not be bounded by it. I, I agree with that. Well, I mean, of course we're free, but I'm just saying, I'm, I'm going beyond saying you're free not to do that. I'm just I just saying that you actually don't do that. Like I'm going one step further. I'm suggesting that enjoy your sacred want... text. If you figure, like, if you're like, hey, how do I, how should I respond to this Armin guy? Figure out what's logical rather than let me figure out, oh, what did Buddha do or what does my Hindu text, my Hindu principle say? That shouldn't matter. You should, the only thing that matters is like what logically makes the most sense. That's the only thing that matters. Yeah, yeah, I understand. But and just just to finish uh, with less, I think there's only five minutes left. Uh, I'll just go with my notes and then I will finish and maybe talk next and uh, later. But, uh, hey, I really part. like talking to you, by the way. Like, let's do this again. You know, message me if you, you know, we, 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 we'll have more time. Okay. Yeah, sure. Th- uh, thank you. Uh, so yeah. uh, so uh, this is with we both don't live in a state of denial. And our, just our focuses are different. Our focus is in finding pro things within uh, Hinduism. Uh, my, my focus is that, and yours is perhaps to find the negative things. And I just, if I just complete this, so you're finding uh, primary faults and partly also finding pros in Sanatana Dharma. Like if, 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 if there is something that is generally good, you don't say that this is also equally wrong, but you are, have a problem that you, uh, uh, you credit religion for that, not uh, people. And I understand that, and that's, that's also completely fine. But here's my take on it. So my findings are primarily positives and making sure to uh, flourish those positive things and also find and accept fault lines within Sanatana Dharma so that I can... Uh, just make sure that everyone, including me, rejects them. So because it, it has evolved, so I say, why cannot it, it, it evolve even further? And and and, and to go con- uh, continue with that, and accepting them and acknowledging them, and very easily using uh, evolving, changing, and dissenting capacity of Sanatan Dharma to reject certain uh, bad elements within it. So 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 you can be uh, you can use the shock and awe method for making Sanatan Dharma better. But I believe I, this is just my opinion. I believe that I like to be like a Trojan horse. You, you remember, like I can do it much better by going into them and normalizing atheism and say that you know what I I, I did not even uh, realize the point that you already made me an atheist and like that would be like winning a war without even fighting it and I find that it it is really really not only witty but also very effective mm. uh, but uh, yeah, uh, you are also important in, in the, as Kushal Mera says in marketplace of ideas your idea is also equal validity or importance and so does mine but it is just my opinion I feel like this well, would be not more equally effective equally because valid. this is such a they're not all equally valid, but that's okay. But um, yeah, uh, okay, okay, but uh, again, some of uh, them are not valid at all. But go ahead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, so they, I think the whole the whole. By the way, uh, that's becoming cringe now. Today, but it's sorry. Let's just use it anyway. The whole marketplace of ideas is not about whether they're all equally valuable or they're equally valued. It's not about it at all. It's about actually them competing against each other, so that the ones that are idiotic die out and, and the ones that are better survive so it's actually the, the, no it's not about all oh, yeah it's all about it it's all good no we want to, we want it's a darwinism of ideas we want a lot of them are makes absolutely no sense and we want them to go extinct that's the whole point of marketplace of ideas but go on Oh yeah, so that, that just that's just my final vision with it. So once uh, okay. all these laws, blasphemy law, gets scrapped up, and I would be openly able to dissent even with this uh, Sanatan Dharma ideas that were 
past and people are still attached to it for some reasons. Once I get this law scraped out and we can properly talk about it, people would be comfortable with every aspect of it as it should be in in, in my uh, utopian world, uh, you, you can say, but as my thinking says that in, in, uh, in on an ideological scale, that if mm. as it as it should believe uh, theoretically, if it if it, it is allowed to properly be, be applied on a practical scale, perhaps what I will observe, uh, or, or perhaps what, you, what, what my uh, observed re result are would match exactly with my expected results. And if they do, then I, I think that would be great. That would be great. And that, that's the last time I use. I want to sanitize. <laughs> if, if, this is, if, if I'm the first one who has coined this term, I, I, I'm really happy with myself. But I want to sanitize Islam and Christianity and I think it is really possible in India because there are different types of Muslim all over the world but Indian Muslims are much more different the Indian Muslim strain is something that you have never seen and encountered anywhere else in the world there are bad okay. uh, Indians uh, sorry bad Muslims and there are good um, Muslims as well and there's, there's particularly more bad because re regarding to the Islamic theology and teaching, but I know genuinely good Muslims as well. I have certain hate against, not, not certain, I, I really hate Islam, but I know that there are genuinely good Muslims as well. And they don't hold the uh, principles uh, as I think, or perhaps in, in my narrow sense, would think that they would. And that's the part. I, I, I know that they are already sanitized. I know that, but it... You, they, they do not even acknowledge that, that they are Hindu descended. I don't think, again, unless and until we repeal those laws, they would acknowledge that they are already sanitized. And once they do, all this conflict, like Wait, we are so the same they have thing, to, fighting. And, so yeah. you, you want them to live by your values to be accepted? No, exactly. No, exactly. That, that's not what, even if they're just moderate, like just moderate, like even uh, do not believe in the values of. Um, what what's the what's the thing like uh, in, in the values that are uniquely found in Sanatan Dharma? That that would be also fine. Like uh, mod, uh, model citizens, if they are, they they, they, don't, they don't necessarily need to be uh, like Sanatan Dharma. But this mm. way, I, I, because they already are. They, I hear multiple of them saying that you know, we, also like, so to, many, we, we also like I, to worship Ganesh, like we like to worship Allah. And I'm like, they don't say you sure about that? that? That's shirk. But they are fine with it. They don't know that. But then don't say that they need to live by Hindu values. Okay, you know I hear this again in Israel, uh, among the far right in Europe, and I hear that in India as well. Okay, just you know I don't I don't think that's is you know you're going beyond saying that they should chill out about their religion. You're going out and suggesting that they have to accept oh, also Judeo Christian values, for example. Like um, in Israel, they're making. Um, Arabs become like you have to accept the Jewish identity to be an Israeli. That's a push from the far right people as well in Israel. So I'm seeing this like, over, like I think like this is actually going to backfire. O the only thing we need to do with Muslims is to make them less influenced by Islam. We don't like the whole idea of like oh you have to you have to have this partly Hindu identity or this Jewish identity in Israel or like accept Judeo Christian values in you know North America or Western Europe. That is really that's gonna if you wanna if people suggest that instead of actually just promoting enlightenment values and getting people less impacted by you know Islam, I think it's gonna not, not only that does not work, that's gonna back like they're gonna see that as a bigger threat to Islam, and that's gonna actually push more people into the arms of Islam, in my opinion. That is you know, so I think just make people chill on Islam rather than suggesting. That they should, that in order for them to be accepted, they have to accept anything Hindu related. Also agreed. Also agreed. That that that's also sounds 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 valid. Yeah, but yeah. I just in terms of practicality, I feel my version would be more practical. But that, that's again, that's just what I feel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is our time because, up? Because it's, yeah, our time is up. But I just want to say, like, it's because it's because it it becomes if. You know what's the difference between what I'm saying and the suggestion that you're making? It becomes a war of ideas rather than war of identities. Right? Yeah. Because you're not suggesting people that they need to accept a new identity. They only have to reconsider other ideas. Right? And you don't you're not suggesting to people that they need to be a different person. Their person is not does the, the nature of who they are doesn't have to change. They ha just they just have to re be skeptical about the views that they have. And I think my method is like a, there's much less barriers to my method than you know asking people to re 
be a, be, be a different person. Uh, you know, that's me. Right. I, I think on this one, I would say agree to disagree, but that, that's okay. fine. All right, well, we'll keep, we could talk about this later, okay? Uh, as well. Okay, yeah. Okay. But let me don't say on, I'm just going to stop recording. Oh, by the way, guys, again, link, uh, subscribe, and notification bell. And do all, all the buttons, link, trick in the description. There's so many things you could do. Uh, merch, uh, Patreon, subscribe, share. And do not, again, I remind everybody, do not support us financially if you're struggling financially. Please, please, please stay away from our Patreon account if you are struggling financially. But thank you for even, because, no, no, do not, I do not thank you for considering. Are you out of your mind? You're struggling financially. Why are you even thinking about it? Anyways, bye.